Civil society organizations have welcomed this groundbreaking research. They say it's a step closer to finding a cure for HIV and AIDS. The study tested an innovative combination of immunotherapy approach aimed at reducing or eliminating hidden traces of HIV in the body. It showed that 20% of trial participants remained virally suppressed after one and a half years. People living with HIV say the results provide hope towards the development of future HIV cure approaches. Prof said they are not going to continue with it because of the small amount that's um, presented um, good um, data, but we are very excited because this is a, a step to the right direction. Uh, as a person living with HIV, we've always been looking for cure rather than taking medication for the rest of our lives. We can make South Africa great by actually uh, investing uh, in ours. We do not even have a uh, why we're buying treatment. Why can't we create our own? Because these things are being done here. We study them. So why don't we open a pharmacy or a pharmacy uh, uh, that could create everything that we really need and start supporting our people? Professor Tumbindungu says the current study focused mainly on women. Globally, they account for more than half of all people living with HIV. He says they will continue to look at factors that influenced the prolonged suppression in the 20% of participants. Uh, this was a very important study because uh, first it is the first HIV cure trial in Africa involving asking participants to interrupt their treatment under very close uh, monitoring. But it was also important because we did it in women, and women are disproportionately affected by HIV, particularly in Africa, but they represent only to less than 20% of participants in HIV cure trials. So it's really important that women should be involved in this kind of research because we want to make products that can be used by both men and women. Meanwhile, Dr. Krista Dong says they need to intensify efforts to find a cure or better vaccine to prevent tuberculosis and other critical diseases in Africa. It's more pressing than ever that we find a cure, not just for HIV, but other critical diseases like tuberculosis, um, especially in the climate right now where funding is in question and there's a panic globally about how things are going to go. Are we going to have funding for treatment? Are we going to have funding to keep our programs going? Um, when we're worried about in some locations we're safe here, we're in a good position in South Africa, but other countries are not as fortunate as us. Dungu says a community and public engagement is needed to support HIV cure research. I'm Nantagani Pumakwaza for SABC News in Durban.